guys welcome to another video so today's video we will be trying the fashion fair stick foundation in the shade fine chestnut so that's what I have on my skin and all that good stuff if you want to see how this goes and what I think of this foundation keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys okay guys so I am back I finally got my fashion fair stick foundation so I wanted to show it to you guys I primed with the fashion fair you know primer just to keep it all one brand and I did receive what shade is this the loose setting powder in truly tawny and it looks like this I don't know if you can really ever see that but I'm going to use that I don't know what to do with the top I'm going to use this to set my powder, my primer only because I'm Ollie. I can get Ollie. And from the reviews I saw of this foundation, it's like not for Ollie skin. But I had already ordered it, so I want to see. So that's how it looks if you can see it. So I just set like my T-zone area. Have you noticed on my channel, I never use stick foundations because they tend to make my skin like more oilier. So I also brought that um, powder to highlight with. Because the other, as you can see, is real light. So it's the other powder I brought was too dark. So I picked up this shade. I picked up the shade Fine Chestnut. The same shade I have in the Cream to Powder Foundation. And it looks like this. I think it's going to be a good shade for me. So we shall see. I'm always, I need a dense brush. So I'm going to put it on with a dense brush. My shop must say brush. This comes in 16 shades. And it claims to be a medium buildable coverage. With a natural semi matte finish. Flexible crease resistant pigments. Blur pores and fine lines. Helps to even the look of uneven skin tones. For a smooth brighter complexion. So let's see. Oh. And melt in my skin as you can see so this is for sure the white shade for me I can't say that I never the only uh, stick foundation I ever had was that black opal when it was like real big black opal and it um, used to make me too oily I never was a fan of stick foundation. I always wanted to try the Huda Beauty um, stick foundation though. But they just don't do me right. It's mad. Mm. The shade is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. If you are my skin tone and you kind of use me as a reference with foundation, Fine Chestnut is our color. I don't even know how much I'm supposed to put on. Just going. And so far, I had to contact them because I'm like, where's my order? Like, I placed my order on the 9th of um, September. It's now the, what's the day? The 24th. And they're like, oh, it seems like you're not going to get your order. So we'll just reship. Would you like a refund or would you like us to reship it? I was like, reship it. I ordered it for a reason because I wanted it, you know? So they were kind of enough to reship it. And it came like in the day, so. Let me use my sponge. Even though I don't have any streaks or anything, that's a good thing about 
lipstick foundations like it you don't have to worry about like streaks or like really really blending 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 because it does like most of the work for you i feel like but as y'all can see my face And see what it covered. It covered well. Well. Oh, this is pretty. It says medium coverage, but it's full. Without even trying. You ever had a full foundation that's like full coverage and you didn't really have to do a lot? That's just what this is. So let me put on my concealer because they don't have a concealer. I think I'm just use my LA Girl um, and Fine and I'll be right back to set it. Okay, I got my concealer on. Let's set it with the same loose powder. As you can see, it's the perfect uh, color for my skin tone to highlight with. It's not too bright, which I like. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute while I do my under eye, just for a minute. Okay, the last new thing I got from them was the pressed powder, and this is the shade Enchanting Amber. So on my other video, I don't even know, oh here it is. Uh, the other shade was Bold Bronze. They said that Enchanting Amber, according to the shade match, is my shade. So that's why I picked it up. Use a fluffy brush and we're just going to set this, the rest of this powder. I mean, my face. Everything blends in wonderfully. Yeah, this is my shade. Before when I was ordering, I was just picking shades. I mean, they work. I guess you could. They have different shades and you can make them work. But this works better than the other one. But the other one is still nice. Let me put on my bronzer, my lips, all that good stuff. And I'll be back. Okay, guys. So, I am back. And this is the completed look. I'm looking matte. Not too matte. Um... It's full coverage. It says medium, but it's buildable. My only worries about this foundation is if I'll be like extremely too, too oily as the day goes on. So right now it is 7.35. And we're going to see how this wears. But the application and everything, shade, everything is excellent. My only concern is my oily skin. So, I'll be back in a couple of hours to let you all know how this goes. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. Hi. So, I am back. It is 7 o'clock. That makes it 12 hours I have had this foundation on. It does not look bad. The lights are making it way more shinier than it is. But... For it to be a stick foundation really nice so i didn't blot at all throughout the day got my powder brush let's do this the reason why i'm late getting home well, like that's late right it's late for me <laughs> i went to go get my um son some pizza and they were crowded as usual because of course they don't want pizza hut in regular places that other people want they want some more crazy pizza so the young lady she was young working the counter um they were all young really so i did my order and she gave me my change i'm like mm, i think she gave me too much but she didn't give me a receipt so i went and sat in my car and you know how something like ding ding dinging on your head like in your mind you're like mm -mm. so i counted it it's eighty dollars Mm -mm, I wasn't supposed to get $80. I was supposed to get $70. So, of course, she didn't give me no receipt. So, the whole time I waited, I waited like, maybe like 40 minutes. I'm sitting in the car. 
and I go in to get my pizza. So the young boy, he finally gave me my pizza, and I look at the receipt that's on the pizza box or whatever. And of course, it is what I think it is, and she gave me $10 too much, so I, I was pulling it out my wallet. So he's like, oh, no ma'am, no ma'am, um, you already paid, you don't have to pay. So I was like, yeah, I know, but she gave me uh, $10 too much, you need to put it in her um, drawer or whatever. And he was like, oh, you for real? And I was like, yeah. He was like, um, no, I mean, you gonna give it back? And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna give it back. <laughs> So he was like, oh, I hope you didn't have to do that. I mean, I wouldn't have gave it back. I was like, nah, that's not me. <laughs> he could have hit the money or whatever, whatever. So I got in my car and I just was thinking or whatever. Most people or some people would think that that's God's way of like blessing you. Oh, you got a blessing. You got some extra change back or whatever. God don't bless you like that. He don't hurt somebody else while blessing you. So her draw would have been registered. Her till or register or whatever would have been short she probably would have been written up nothing probably could have happened she might have been fired don't know what could have happened but god doesn't hurt like one person and then bless you so that's not how it works i don't know it's just a random search it was on my mind probably because it just happened whatever it just happened whatever but that's probably why i don't have a lot of friends either because you gotta have a conscience like you gotta care about other people, not just yourself. And like, if you ain't got no conscience, I just feel like you don't have a soul. Like, you don't care about nothing. That's just me. That's probably why I don't have a lot of friends because I don't have time to do with that. So, it's just me and my mama. And she said she's not my friend, leave her alone. <laughs> Leave her alone. She's not going to the store with me. She's not going shopping with me. She's not going nowhere with me. I know, mama. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm just talking, y'all. I'm tired. Now it's time to go to bed. But, yeah, this is how it looks. $12 worth of wear. If I was to blot, if you were to blot throughout the day, I do think this uh, setting powder I put on before I actually applied it help control the oil. So, this is not like... This stick, I was afraid, like, wouldn't be for all the people. Yeah, you can use this. It actually looks really nice. It looks really nice. The color is spot dead on. Spot dead on. So, when I go... Oh, I'm messing up my foundation. So, when I go and, like, do foundations, and they're like, what's what foundation you wear? And I'm going to say, um, Fashion Fair. What is this? Fine Chestnut. And I want you to match me to whatever based upon this. Because I need to... I need it to match exactly this. I love it. So far, they 10 for 10 for me. I don't have no problem with them. Looks excellent. I don't feel like nothing. I didn't feel like anything was on my skin all day, if you want to be honest. So, it's a healthy shine. It looks like I'm glowing from within. I don't know what I'll be glowing from. But... <laughs> Bye. I'm going to sleep. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.